Hey, how are ya? Hope you're having a fan fucking tastic day. Every now and again, I put up on my story some questions for you to ask me, so you should follow my Instagram and follow my stories so you can ask me a question for next time. Anyway, let's get into today's video. Why can't you grow a real beard? What do you mean, mate? What is this? What's all that? But that's like... This is like one minute of growth, mate. What's your biggest inspiration? My top three people that I'm inspired by. One, the Kaiser or the, the Kizer. Or, he does renders for Need for Speed and EA Games. He's done body kits and stuff. He's this crazy concept artist. It's not really my thing that I do, but it's just, I can just appreciate good artwork. Another guy, Joe Santagato, he's super funny. Always watch all of his YouTube videos and Kind of his characteristics I really want to bring into some of my videos as well. So I always laugh at his videos and I really enjoy watching him because I think he's really funny. And third of all, Peter Try. He's Melbourne based so he lives in my city as well. He owns a company called 8 Foods and he's just straight to the point. No fucking around, no bullshit. Says it how it is and I just love that. You're offered 10 million pounds. Fuck. That's pretty much 20 million Australian. You're offered 10 million pounds to stay in the city for six years, but no photography for that entire time. Now, nah, fuck that, man. What's the point of having that much money if you can't document all the hectic shit you're going to do with it? Mate, pics or it didn't happen. So what was the last worst photo you ever took? I take bad photos all the time. I think on every single photo shoot, I'll take at least one bad photo. I mean, you have to. I mean, what, a test shot or an overexposed shot or something. You could go on a photo shoot for 15 minutes and take a whole bunch of great photos photos right but you could go you could also go on a photo shoot for two hours and not get a single good shot it just depends like on the day on the mood on the subject on the location but the most important thing is trial and error you have to try you have to fail and then you learn from your mistakes do you ever think of how competitive photography and filmmaking is and if so does it scare me no not at all. I only worry about what I'm doing and what my inner circle is doing and I don't give a fuck about what anyone else is doing. As long as you're creating content and making shit that you like, that's all I want for anyone. What do you base your rates on? Do they vary depending on clients? How do I charge consistently? You'll never charge consistently, let me tell you. Unless you're doing the same thing over and over and over again, like party photography or wedding photography or something like that. First of all, find out what your client wants and then work from there. Depending on how many photos they want or how many photos they want edited, your rate is always gonna change. And, and, and also the better that you get a photography and the more gear that you acquire, the more team that you build, I think just look at it more or less on your time and how much you want to get paid for your time. Is photo manipulation cheating by adding subject points such as birds planes? Honestly, if your photo looks fucking sick when you put shit into it, who cares? It's your artwork at the end of the day. It doesn't matter if you have to render something to put it in or if you put a bird in somewhere to make the photo better. If it looks good, it looks good. Fuck them. Is a wallaby a kangaroo? No, Muhammad. A wallaby's a fucking wallaby, mate. They're two different animals. How old were you when you first started photography and what camera did you get? I was about 12, 13 years old when I first started photography. My first actual camera that was dedicated for filming was a flip camera. How did you promote your Instagram and make yourself known in the community? I think you just gotta set the bar higher. Always strive to set the bar higher. Make sure your content's original, you're thinking of your own ideas, or you're taking an idea and putting your own twist onto things. Just get your shit out there, get your best possible content out there as often as you can. When you were a kid, what did you wanna be? I wanted to be a race car driver. I wanted to be like a full on race car, like F1 driver. I still do, actually. Why are you still a virgin? Okay, first of all... <laughs> I'm not a fucking virgin. And second of all... Your name is Simon, mate! You can't ask me that question! Your name's Simon! <laughs> that was a good Q&A. We nutted out a lot of questions there. Again, if you haven't followed me on Instagram, you should do that now, North Borders. Check out my Instagram, check out my stories as well, and keep an eye out because I put the questions up on there for you to ask me. And hopefully next time I can answer your question. If you like this video, leave a like down below and help me out by hitting subscribe. But with that all said and done, I'll see you next time.